Goalkeepers, welcome to the doctor's office. Dr. Big Cat here, uh, Neil Thompson. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about receiving pass backs and where to receive. It's a pretty simple uh, rule of thumb that I want to show you. Um, again, it all depends on your team's tactical principles, but I want to give you a little bit of a tip. And we're going to we're going to make some assumptions here. We're going to assume that we're playing against the 4-3-3, because typically in the US, that's what we come up against. Okay, so a nice little simple rule. A lot of goalkeepers say that they want to receive outside of the post, right? Which makes a lot of sense. Why? Because you might think it's safe, right? Because the ball can't go in the back of the net. At our level, I would like to think that we, the, the defender shouldn't be missing passes over uh, 10 yards, right? 10, 20 yards. So it's a simple pass on the floor. You shouldn't really miss by that much, and the goalkeeper should have the ability to move. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue of where we receive the ball. That shouldn't be the reason why we receive the ball outside the post. The reason why I think we should receive the ball outside the post is, and when we should, is if the nine is more central, right? Can you see that? If the nine is central, right, and the ball's over here, right, so where the X is, that's the ball, yeah, and the nine is here, so maybe the, maybe the number seven, so the opposition is chasing, right? So now the goalkeeper, if he stands centrally, it's a short distance, right, between the nine and the goalkeeper, right? So then in that case, the goalkeeper should shift, should shift over, yeah, should shift over here. To buy himself, he or, he, he or she, more time. So he can come into here, he can come a little bit further, right? And now we can play the ball back. So imagine we're in here, we've played the ball back, and now it's a little bit of a bigger distance for the, for the forward to close us down, okay? And because we're receiving with an open body, maybe that allows our other centre back, yeah, to drop off into here, yeah, or our two, yeah, to come wide and deeper also, yeah, to receive. So we could have, could have a shorter option that's maybe here, and maybe a slightly higher option up here, right? So we can go keep, we can play out short, or we can play it up in the air, long. Make sense? Okay, right, so now that's why we would slide over. Now, if there's no nine, I know that these aren't the greatest with graphics, but it's just a bit of information for you, and it's for free, so just accept it. All right, take it or leave it. If you're interested, keep listening. Anyway, if the nine, yeah, where the X is, has slid over and is now starting to apply pressure to the ball this way, the goalkeeper doesn't necessarily want to come into this channel. Why? Because now the distance is small, right? And, they, and the opposition, if the 9's come over, it probably means that the 11 is tucked in and is also coming over this way, okay? So now that's leaving all of the space on this side of the field, okay? So we want the goalkeeper to be more central and maybe slightly higher, right? So in here, why slightly higher? Well, one, you know, yeah, you've got the protection factor of the goal. But for me, it's because the ball now can get there quicker. And we can play out to the other side, maybe to our two, who's over here, a lot quicker also. on balancing the opposition, because again, the general direction of the opposition is coming this side of the field. So leaving the space all on this side of the field. Makes sense? I hope it does. Let me know your feedbacks, and, uh, and I'll do some better drawings. I'll put some stuff on PowerPoint and all that. But just a, a, a quick rule of thumb. So again, if the nine is central, if the nine is central, we have to pull into the channel. Yeah. If the nine is central, we pull away from the goal to create space. Yeah. If the nine is shifted, we go more central to unbalance, and we pull away from the ball, creating time and space. All right. Hope that you found that useful. I'll sort my backdrop out. I'm getting ready to hit the road, so I haven't set anything up for you guys. But wanted to make this video, and uh, we'll get more of these done as we go along. All right, thanks for listening. Peace.